In this video, I want to show you how to solve simple 2x2 two two games like the one we have here uh, by finding the best responses of each of the players to the actions taken by the other player. And so this is a method we can use to solve any uh, simultaneous 2x2 two two game like the one we, uh, the one we see here. And so what we're going to do is consider each player in turn. First, we'll think about Anil, who's the row player, uh, and try to figure out what is the preferred action of Anil uh, when Bala, the column player, plays either rice or cassava. And remember, this example is about what crops they each choose to plant. Uh, so the way we do that is to isolate um, the payoffs for Anil that are associated with first uh, Bala playing rice. So if Bala plays rice, uh, Anil will see that if he also plays rice, uh, he'll end up with one. Uh, whereas if he plays cassava, uh, he'll end up with four. And so he'll prefer to play cassava if Anil plays rice, if Bala plays rice. Uh, if Bala plays cassava, we look at the payoffs here and see that um, for Anil, uh, when Bala plays cassava, he also prefers to play cassava. Uh, and so you'll note that whatever the strategy played by Bala, whether it's rice or cassava, Anil is going to uh, choose to play cassava. Uh, so Anil, this means Anil doesn't really care what Bala is uh, going to do, he's just going to play Cassava. Turning to Bala, uh, now we consider what Bala's best action is for each of the possible actions of Anil. So we look at rice played by Anil first and see that when Anil plays rice, uh, Bala would get three by playing rice and two by playing cassava, uh, so he'll prefer to play rice. If Anil plays cassava, Bala is going to um, prefer to play rice rather than cassava, uh, and so that means that Bala is going to prefer to play rice uh, no matter what Anil decides to do. Uh, so both of these um, players have a dominant strategy, uh, Bala to play rice, Anil to play cassava, and so we end up in a dominant strategy equilibrium, and we can tell that there's an equilibrium because uh, the pay both payoffs in one of the cells uh, are underlined, and that means that that cell is in equilibrium. Uh, and so here, the two players uh, prefer to uh, specialize in the uh, crop that they're best at growing um, and they reach the sort of socially best outcome without needing to do any sort of coordination with one another. Uh, so they have chosen simultaneously and independently uh, the strategies that they play and if you sum the payoffs in each of the squares you'll see that when Anil plays cassava and Bala plays rice, the total is eight, and that's higher than in any of the other three squares. Let's have a look at uh, Prisoner's Dilemma game. Um, in this one, uh, we have the two strategies for each of the players being to use an integrated pest control system or a, an insecticide called Terminator, uh, where um, the integrated pest control is maybe a little more expensive, but doesn't pollute the groundwater, um, whereas the Terminator uh, not only pollutes the groundwater, but also has a, an effect of killing off uh, any of the insects that have been released for integrated pest control in the other person's land. Uh, so there's a negative effect of um, one player's actions on the other if that action happens to be Terminator. So starting with Anil again, we see that um, if Bala plays IPC, 
Loki, Anil prefers to play Terminator. Uh, if, if Bala plays Terminator, um, Anil also prefers to play Terminator. Two is better than one. Turning to Bala, if Anil plays uh, IPC, Bala prefers to uh, play Terminator. And if um, Anil prefers to play Terminator, Bala also prefers to play Terminator. Um, so both of them have dominant strategies again. Um, but in this case, um, the dominant strategies lead us to an equilibrium in which uh, each of them get two, um, which is not as good as the equilibrium in which both of them get three. So both of them would prefer, if they could, to use integrated pest control as long as um, each one as long as would prefer that as long as the other does. Um, but there is no way that they can get there, uh, at least as in the way that we've described the scenario so far. So uh, if they were in the equilibrium of um, both playing IPC over here, um, both of them would have an incentive to, uh, to deviate from that strategy and play Terminator. Um, so individually, the best outcome occurs, the best outcome is four, and that occurs when you're using Terminator and the other guy is using integrated pest control, uh, so that any agreement to, um, say, choose integrated pest control, uh, if they could make an agreement beforehand, there'd be an incentive for each of them to, um, to renege on that agreement and, and, uh, and play Terminator instead. Uh, and so if they are both purely self-interested and that's the only thing that motivates them, um, then that's what they would do. They would uh, deviate um, from uh, both playing IPC if they had made such an agreement and play Terminator instead.